All right, so I'm diving into these questions today and I love this. So can someone have electrolysis and laser at the same time? Absolutely. However, some technicians and some malpractice insurance companies say no. So it really does depend on the studio that you go to. Let's talk about this a little bit further. How do I address this as a laser technician and electrologist for my patients? If somebody is trying to expedite care, okay, so they're trying to get through as much of the bulk of the clearing as possible, I will start them off two weeks after their consultation. So we'll do some test pulses at the consultation. Two weeks later, we'll start their laser. We'll laser over the entire area, and then it takes two to three weeks for hairs to shed out and the hairs that were not present at the time of laser to start breaching the surface of the skin. So what I'll do is consult two weeks later, laser session, and then three weeks later, a short electrolysis session for the hairs the laser couldn't see. Then I usually go at a three week interval, alternating those treatments until I get through the bulk of their laser sessions. And then I start to spread out the frequency of laser because we don't need it as often now. And I then do a lot more electrolysis. So we go laser electrolysis, laser electrolysis. And every time we're pushing that laser out just a little bit further. It's usually at a three week spacing for myself. This is not all technicians. However, for me, I don't like to do laser at a four week interval because it's too soon for the bulk of the hair. I like to do it at a six to nine week interval, which means that I can do electrolysis every three in between. I also have done where I've done laser and electrolysis same session. Now, this one's a little bit trickier because you have to really make sure that patients are following their pre and post care to make sure that their skin can handle that level of heat to safely treat the area. By doing this, I'll do electrolysis basically every three weeks. And on the ninth week, at the end of their electrolysis session, I send them into the bathroom with a disposable razor. They'll shave their whole face and then we'll laser over what I didn't get with electrolysis that day. A lot of times we're at someone really focusing on like upper lip and chin because we're trying to get that shadow to reduce itself down. But by all means, I've done it. I love doing it this way. And I encourage my patients, if they can, to do the same. If they cannot, then we find alternates that fit their patient needs. That's it. Peace, love, and hair removal. Have a great day. Bye.